Hello and welcome back to All the Mods 8. This is episode 7 and we're going to go over quite a few different things this episode, kind of get you up to speed and explain in more detail what I'm uh, accomplishing or what the current goals are. So uh, let's take a quick look around. We'll run back over here. Here's the room for the essences. We've done all that. That's cooking along. We've been using these quite a bit, um, which is nice. I may actually, um, we could do this right now. Let's put all these in here. And instead of having to run back and forth, what we're going to do is we're going to break that chest. We're going to go into our backpack. And we have an ender chest made. All right. Let's make another, let's make a couple more of those if we can. Let's see. We're missing those. So we can't make them right now, but we'll do that in a little bit. All right. So. If we put this, because this is tied into our um, storage system, some nice lanterns. I'm going to put that, just because I saw that, I'm going to press A, and it'll be a little reminder. But this goes back into our system. So, if I put this here, anything fed into it will get drawn out and put into our system. So let's do that. These are kind of hard to break, as you can see. So let's put that down. And then I don't have to go back and forth. It does show all the things, but if I go like this then, now I don't have to run back and forth. And automation is uh, what we're after here. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll take a look at what I changed over here. I'd already done that. I, hate, I didn't like going back and forth for all the coal. So what happens is, I did this to the system. It does all these different trees, everything's Nice there. Does that ash actually growing? And it goes into here. At this point, I put a um, a filter on here, and the filter you can just add an item. So if you put a diamond upgrade on this right here, you can add, let's say that. Submit it, and it's white listed. Now, anything that is this or this, and we'll remove this now of this thing, it will go up. And on this one, I blacklisted that item. So that means all the um, all the oak is going in here. If, for some reason, I got it to a point where it was backing up, I would address that issue and maybe like uh, filter it off, or I would come up with a solution. But so far, this thing still keeps up. Just this one keeps up. So you can if it wasn't keeping up, turn it into, into charcoal. You could, put a, you could put another one and do the same thing. And what happens is, it's got the charcoal, cooks it, draws it out through the bottom, puts, it, puts charcoal back in if it can, and if not, it goes right up to the ender chest. And it, see how you can open one and it opens both of them? See that one open down there? They're all connected. So that takes care of that. That takes care of that. Same thing in here. We saw that earlier where we did this. All those get drawn into here and into our system. Same on this side. And then I added another row. Like on that side, I added a whole other row of botany pots and mostly um, inferium seeds because I want to change all these pots, uh, the soil, like this one. I don't even have one there. It's not the, it's not the end of the world. Um, I want to change them to uh, the better Supremium farmland. Well, that takes 1,000 um, Inferium just to make that, I think. So, and I need hundreds, so hundreds of thousands. And if we look in our system, I have 36,000. So I needed more, so I put more up there. All righty, we'll take a look at the next thing we want to do. I noticed that um, I wanted to do this. Let's find it. There we go. It makes these. I wanted these fire essences because with fire essence, I could get soul sand. If I had these, I can get regular sand. I can get uh, red sand if I mix it with dirt. I could uh, get some lava. I could get tough, which is a, a, a Minecraft thing, and that. So I wanted the ability to do that. I said, okay, how do I do these? And the recipe for that is the recipe for the nether. Oop, not that one. What's the recipe for this? 
no problem. I said lava, we are making lava, and I made four of those. And then I had to go get some more seeds as well. So let's go do that. Or not seeds, I had to go get uh, prosperity shards down at the Y level, deep in the deep in the underground down there in the place I've been mining. So let's go like that. And we'll have some left over. Get four seeds. Oh, six seeds, sorry. Do the math right there. And now let's do this. What was the uh, the usage for that? So we need four of those. One, two, three, four. And we're going to put a nice farmland on that one. So we get lots of it. Planning ahead a bit there. And let's do this. One, one, two, three, four. Kind of a cool, cool sound. And we'll activate it. We've just done that, and it's done cooking, and now we have one, and we have a fire seed. And it's kind of nice that we had this opened up. Shift click that in, that in, and it's growing away. And I found out that those uh, this is 100, uh, 1.3 times the speed of a regular um, farmland, so it's a little bit better farmland when we use the Supremium. Okay, let's put our stuff back away. And we'll do that and that. We'll put the seeds in there. No problems. All right, next up. I noticed that um, on our backpacks, you could have these uh, these upgrade slots. So let's do that. At backpack. And there's quite a few different ones. Magnets. You could do all kinds of things. Let's do the magnet one. So we're going we're gonna to... Put it up there so that when I, can, I that way I can craft it. And let's see, recipe. Can we do it? No, we need a, a pickup upgrade. Okay, we need a sticky piston. There we go. Recipe for that. Put it in there. Recipe for that. Makes backpack pickup items. Okay. I don't know. Magnets, magnets, items into a into backpack at range. I probably don't want that, but I do want this one. Advanced feeding upgrade. So I made that. Let's find out what the recipe is for this. A regular one. So uh, this is a little bit interesting. I had those, the ender pearls. Golden apple is just an apple with gold around it. This, I didn't have a carrot, so I was like, how can I make it? Oh. But I had the nature essence going, so I throw some of those in. I don't have any pigs either. I'm going to have to track down some pigs and start working on those as well. So eat them carrots, I think. And what else? Recipe, recipe, golden. How do you make one of those? Just like that. I had some mini melons, but I don't have the big melons. So let's see if we can get some big melons. And I think this guy might be able to do that. So we'll go melon. Melon seed. I don't have an. I don't have an emerald. There we go. Now I have to type it again. I think. Yep. I can't even use the arrow up key because it doesn't have a history. Melon. One of those, and we're gonna run right back over and plant that real quick. And we'll just plant it with. Oh, I guess we'll use the supremium. Go out on a limb here. And what do we have in here? Dye seeds. Inferium. Oh, I don't want to use the stone. I don't want to use that. So I'm just going down the... Here we go. And we're actually cooking melons now. Great. Now I'll have some melons just in case I need those in the future as well. Put that there. We'll toss this seed in here. Eventually we can process these seeds as well. We'll want to do that just to be efficient. So, back over to this. I wanted this item. We were able to make it. We had the melons. We did all that. And then I turned it into an advanced one. The advanced one's uh, a little bit better when I put it in there. And what it does is this. Notice how I'm out of, um, uh, I'm low on health, uh, uh, this right here. Um, I forget what that's called. Uh, let's see. Mm, it's the, 
it's not your health, but it's uh, the other part of health. And it fills up this satisfaction type thing. Uh, I forget the name of it. I'll, I'll remind you. If you guys know, just go ahead and comment down below as well. But uh, what it does is, if I put this on here, and it's I can turn it on and off because it's the advanced one, it should... Oh, I don't have any food in there. Now watch if I put food in here. Let's uh, let's go like this. Nuts. Don't. Oh, there we go. Put those away. If I put the nuts in here, I don't. Ha I won't have to reach in and out all the time for them. And it does. It did the eating really, really fast too. So right away, now it's like an auto automatic eating thing which was great, which led me to my, uh, the other item I want to do is automatic feeding for the animals. I don't want to have to run back and forth. So I said, okay, what can we do? So I typed in feeder. Well, here's an automatic feeder from industrial farming or going. What's the recipe for that? I said, okay, I can make those. I got the dye, iron gear. What's the recipe for that? Oh, I had the wood, the iron. No problems. I'm looking at everything. I said, oh, plastic. How can we get plastic? So, plastic is made with dried rubber. How can I get the dried rubber? Tiny rubber combined. Okay, how do I get this? At a latex processing unit. I think, I, did I have it up there? Yeah, I did. We'll put it back up at the top over this way. What's the recipe for that? Oh, latex bucket. What's that? A fluid encapsulator. I said, okay. Alrighty. Fluid extractor, because I needed to make the latex. How do I get that? It's the wood. Takes that out of there. Oh, there's actually better ones. Let's see, that's two mil three mil millibuckets. Strip dark oak wood logs. Dark oak logs. Four is acacia. So it looks like I should switch this to acacia. So let's do this real quick. We're going to go in here. We're going to improve the system by twofold. Acacia sapling. And I made the same mistake. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we can only we can just do one. We don't need a bunch of saplings. And let's open him up again. Acacia. Well, let's see if I can actually hit the right key. There we go. And for now, we're going to go right into here. We're going to change this one from an oak sapling to an acacia. Let's do it. So now we've got those cooking because I had to do all that other stuff to get the plastic. I needed all of this, the fluid extractor, all that. So I said, where can I do it? At first, I did it outside. That was a bad idea, because it just turned into a giant mess. So I said, okay, let's find out. Let's find a, make a room. So we'll use our elevator, go downstairs. And I made a room for it. I'll, I'll explain that in a second as well. That's a pretty neat system, as well as this one. So here's the room for pretty much latex processing, I guess I guess that would be the, the issue. And we have another elevator down as well. And what I did was I just buried the lines underneath here, the power lines, and they all power this. But if I look up right there, see that oak log? We're going to change that into acacia. That oak log is the key to everything. Now, what you do is you make these fluid extractors, and you have to point them at the log. The log is in the center of these four fluid uh, extractors. The log will decay over time. So I also had to point a block placer from Cyclic right here down and have it always on. So if there's if it, it uses that um, log, right, I'll go down here. It uses that log and it's almost gone. See how it's up oh, there, it got replaced. Then it replaces it. Come on, let's see if I can actually jump. There we go. Oh, come on. What is going on here? There. 
Um, so the flu the four fluid extractors. How did we make those? We'll take a real quick look at it. Recipe, not bad. Easy stuff. Make four of those. The pressure plate, easy stuff. I said, okay, I can do that. And it's a liquid. And I made the uh, mechanism fluid tank. And I arranged them all in a set, a set area. And then we used the uh, fluid pipes from the pipes mod and put it on extracting. And it draws it all out, all into here. I also needed it powered. So I have a combustion uh, generator right down there with charcoal. And I just put the item frame there to spruce up the area. And that means charcoal goes in there, wood goes in here. And I'm going to change this over to uh, acacia as soon as we have enough of them up there. In fact, let's see if we can do this. In fact, acacia. Acacia log. What's, what's the recipe for that? Can we make that? No, wood essence. I don't have wood essence. Let's find out if we can actually do that. We'll put, uh, oh, it's just a, really? Wood essence, just, just a log. Let's see if we can go make one of those just to get that out of the way as well. There we go. Let's go over there and do that. It's going to be important. I know that. And we'll get the it's a premium. And we'll get one seed. And what did, uh, I think it was like four of those. And let's see if this is the this will work or not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. It looks like it's working. So this, this is another way to, instead of having to grow all the trees individually, now I've got the wood quest. Go right in here. We'll take these out just like before. So this is all making sense, or it should. Wood seed, growing away. Perfect. And I'll just come in here. And we'll plop that down there. Do the same thing as we did before. We'll get rid of the oak sapling. And let's go back. So now we're making those at least. And let's go back down in here. And there we go. All right. So we're at this point. We're going to change that into uh, acacia logs because it does twice as much rubber per cycle or latex. The latex gets drawn out in here. It's going to go into one of two things. At first, I did need the um, the encapsulator to make those uh, to make this feeder. I needed the that unit, the um, latex processing unit, which is right here. So I needed some of those in a bucket, and that did that the encapsulator to that so that I could make the latex processing unit. There it is. There's the easy stuff, easy to make. So it pulls it out. I put, um, I put the auto uh, input from the top or auto output. Hmm. Should be auto input. And then the auto, or no, that was auto output. Yep. It just put them up to the top. And I put a stack of, of buckets in there. So this is just a temporary machine and it really isn't doing anything else right now. And we might even be able to turn the redstone off on this. Ignored. Low. I don't know if it's drawing power. It doesn't really matter. Ignored. We'll keep it the same way. This unit. It's been has been working, and you could just you saw that it's um it, t it needed water, so I put water here and it fed it into into this from the from the sink, and needs power, and it takes the the latex when it gets up to its spot, pops it over, and it makes these, and we'll take those over here. We'll go like this. There we go. 
just like that. Put those all in our system. Recipe. 50 of them, and we're going to go cook these off. You cook them in an inch. So this whole system makes those. It's just designed to make those for now. It could do it. It can do some other things as well. Let's go ahead and put those in there cooking. And I can stand in the right spot. And we'll just pop those in there. And it's cooking away. There we go. So now we have the ingredients for it at least. And let's go explain what I did, did over here. The igne igneous extruder. There were six recipes. If I click that and I show the recipe, there were six. One, two, three recipes that produced six different items. Well, I wanted unlimited amount of each, relatively, of each of these items. So I knew I was going to need six of them. And I need, uh, in this case, it's the blue ice and the lava made that. This was the packed ice and lava needed that. This one needed the magma block underneath it. And it would do that. Just like this. And these are kind of nice too. It does the stone, it cooks it, and makes it back into stone. And this just gives me cobblestone. Great, I thought. So I started making them, put the ice in the right spots. It shares the lava there. I just put glass in front of here for an aesthetic. And then I put what it what it actually is cooking right behind the glass, just above the machine. I should probably get rid of this glass because um, then I can't actually look at the item. But anyways, it's fine. It's doing its job. Pulls it all out as it makes it, puts it into here, which then gets put into the system. These two machines are really nice. Oh, it's already out of power. We'll give it one more chunk. And all that does is I put it in the chest. I point the uh, regular Minecraft hopper, and you can see how it's connected right there to the machine. Is it actually burning? Is it actually doing stuff now? Hmm. Requires redstone. Always on. There we go. And these things are making ice and... I had to make a, a cast. Is this going to do it? Might not, because it might not have enough power. Yeah, once this fills up, then the power, because I routed the power down below, then this will th get its thing. So what was the recipe on that? Easy stuff. A bronze plate. Copper hammer makes the plates. Made the, the cast. You put the cast in there, and it makes snowballs. Five tons of snowballs and tons of ice. And then that, that means I can, I've can i automated that whole system that I was messing around with back over there. Nice, everything's fine. And the neat thing is, see how that's opening up and there's tons of things flying in there? Well, they all end up getting ex extracted from, from these importers, and I put four of them with upgrades. Right there, the stack upgrades. I could probably put a speed upgrade as well. And... If this ever does get backed up, then I'll address it. But right now, there's so much overflow on everything that it's not really an issue. I mean, I have overflow protection with chests beneath all those botany pots and everything. Then I'll catch it in time, and it won't be an issue. I can always put one more, maybe even two more importers, and then speed them up. And they all get just ran right into here. Oh, like this. You know what I could do? Just to tighten it up. It's a little less confusing, I guess. And we'll go like this. There. A little shorter. Maybe it's a little faster on the system, too. It doesn't have to go as far. I don't know how the, the coding on the back end goes. But there we go. It just goes, whoop, goes into the relay. I can still turn my relay off, just like this. And then it'll show me exactly what's in my system. Oh, too many of these. That's a nice, uh, oh, and some more of these. We don't need those in there. And the Belladonna. Looks good. So we'll move them up. And that's how I address those issues if they ever become uh, an issue. So we're going to go like this. Find a home for them. And we're going to find a home for these. For now, 
Uh, let's do this. There's quite a few of these for some reason. And the flowers will just go like this and like that. I come over here, right click twice, make sure everything's out of there, and we're going to go turn our system back on. You could actually do this remotely too if you did it that way. There we go. And that means our disks are still fine. And I can always get more and more disk space. That'll that'll be something I do, but I just enjoy having everything go to the storage drawers. So now back to we've explained that. We've explained this. Blast chillers and their their things. Oh, there it's making snowballs now. Oh, four snowballs that get drawn out, put right into here, right into our system. And then the item frames tell me what they are. I could put that I could put the item frames on the front of those two. That's kind of a nice way to do it. And this is a nice little room. I like having rooms for things. It kind of compartmentalizes it all. How are we doing on plenty of coal for our system? And our system is using 124. And these are actually keeping up. So this, these must be producing at least 62 per tick. I'm guessing they do about 70. Okay. So, let's put these extra ones away, right there. We're going for a feeder. Can we actually make one? We can get rid of this and the encapsulator. We can get rid of that. There's the fluid extractor. I did get a sleep charm. That's kind of nice as well. Uh, the blast chiller I can get rid of. Um, we can get rid of the die. That's nice to have. The mechanical drawing basin. Let's go take a look at that real quick. I changed that around. So now, here's the power. Here's the coal. I should probably put a uh, an item frame on there just to be consistent. Let's do that. Put one piece of coal here. And I'll put it right here. I think I can put it right on that. Just like that. That's kind of neat. So the charcoal goes in. That's plenty for now. And I'm going to be changing the power system over uh, to a, a remote power system soon anyways. And I was doing this. I was doing, um, I needed more of those blaze rods. So I was dr uh, drying out magma cream in here, putting the magma cream in, getting the nether rack. And as the nether rack comes out, this is making, this item is making the uh, thermal series, the magma crucible. Oh. <laughs> it's just cobblestone in there, and it's getting fed into here and making lava. But this is what I needed. I needed the nether rack to go into the crushing machine, uh, ma macerator, getting drawn out, and I needed these. Let's go like that. Soul soil. Interesting. Open that up, and we'll put this in there. There we go. That's just turning those into lava over time. It's nice to have. So let's go put these back in. Oops. Charcoal. Take that out. Put the soul soil in. And as you can see, I just I've been working on making these a little bit more compact and nicer. Um, getting there. You know, I move this over here. And it puts the seeds in that way, okay. And this is just a mess, but I'm working on it. This is a whole mechanism system, so I'm gonna, I'd want to make a mechanism-based room because it's all mechanism-modded items. And he's crunching along. What does this one do? I don't think it's connected to anything. Oh, it's probably had an automatic output, but um, we'll put it down this way there for now. There we go. So we're back to the feeder, and let's see if we can do it. So here's the feeder. Oh, we'll get rid of the latex process. I think we'll get rid of the magnet. Feeder. <laughs> do we have enough items for it? Well, no, we need one of those. So we have enough. Put it in there. Go back to the recipe. Animal feeder. Nice. We're going to need power for it, most likely. We're going to need coal. We might be able to put the right next to it so we don't need it that way. And let's find out. Let's go feed the cows. It's dark out. 
Um, also, uh, coincidentally, I've been building out old Papa Erda, John. He's around here somewhere, but we don't need to fight these guys yet. I made a nice sturdy wall to keep things out. The sheep likes the wall, I guess. Goes all the way over there. Let's see if we can actually fly to show you the... Do I go like that? And up. There we go. So I made the beginning of, of the wall this way. And... I did the, um... Come on. I may be making a jet pack next. The fence goes all the way around. Look at all those cows. That's just ridiculous. The fence goes all the way around, so it really helps protect the uh, villagers. At least I hope so. And let's see if we can actually go back down to the ground. And dismount. There we go. And we'll put that away. I think I'm going to like the, uh, um, what do you call it, the... Uh, Jetpacks more. And so let's go back over here to the feeder guy. Now the automatic feeder, just to do all that. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Let's go on a... Nothing to see here. They're all resting. That's just way too many cows. way too many cows. I also have that cow up there. It's a purple cow. And I think a villager fell in there with him as well. I'll get him out of there. Let's knock these guys out. Jeez. Come on. Let's see if I have a better weapon. Let's use the better weapon. Oh, it is nicer. <laughs> sort of nicer. That's 13 damage. Come on. How many cows did I have? I had too many. I don't want to kill them all, though. Okay. So, now we can get back to business here. We're going to put this right in the middle. If we can move the cows around. Come on. Come on. There we go. Interesting. It faced it that way. Automatic feeder. We're going to need some power for it. Uh, we'll put the power there. We don't want to put it too close because they'll start hopping up on it. And we're going to need a, a way to feed in that. Not soapstone. Charcoal? There we go. Is it doing it? It's getting power. And where's our wheat or hay? Oh, what, did I use it all? No. Wheat. I'm not close enough. Come on. That'll be another thing to expand the range of this uh, transmitter. Wheat. We'll get that many for now. Got a lot of leather. And it drops it into there. Is it actually using it up? That's the feeder like that. That's this. We'll put this one down here to get a little more power to the system. And that way they can't jump up there either. Soapstone, no. Got a lot of animal fat, that's good. So I think this will feed them. Let's see if it actually does it. Progress. We'll have to check back, but a mode ignored. Show working area. Hmm. Hide working area. Food input. Okay. Show working area. Showing it like that. Oh, this is maybe that right here is where the food comes out. There we go. And that should 
and I'll do a little more research on it, but now it's all set up and it's it, it exists at least. I'll do some more research and in the next episode we'll actually see what it's doing here. There's the progress. ETA. That's my time of arrival. Usage 400. There's the inputs. It probably needs something in here. And to show the working area. But that's how many cows we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cows. Oh, it did something. See that heart? So it, it is feeding them. Maybe it's not the best idea to have it right in the middle there. But we'll figure it out. But that's nice, and I think we're in good shape there. We'll just let that run and see what happens. So, with that, we'll wrap up this episode. I hope you've learned a lot, and I hope it helped you guys. If, uh, if it has, go ahead and hit subscribe. We're getting uh, higher and higher in, in the subscriptions. Uh, over 500. We're going for 1,000. And... It's neat. I like it and enjoy. And I can't wait to make this, you know, this is just a regular wall. I want to really turn it into a re really nice castle wall, really fortify this whole city. There's actually cannon type things you can do that'll keep the mobs away, that'll shoot them. I found a, um, this thing right here. It's a sigil, this sleep charm. It wards off the effects of insomnia. And I think it makes my sleeping go really fast, too. The insomnia is those things, that nightmare creatures that come out at night. Well, it gets rid of those. See that? Uh, really fast. That, that was coincidentally of the Benjamin the Sage came out at the same time. But the sleeping goes a lot faster. Everything's nicer for that. So let's put these things away. And looks good. We'll put that away. Singularity tank, that's interesting. So lots of stuff to do in the future. It should eat. Is, is it not eating automatically? Where is the... There's the food. It's getting close. Let's take a look. It's, it's definitely on. It could eat right now, but I'll check it out. It should eat automatically, and I won't have to worry about it. Let's put this away. That's our good weapon. We'll dump all this back in there. And with that, we should be in good shape. Oh, we'll put those in there too. <laughs> and there's so many things you can make with that. I'll, I'll show you real quick. There's all so much to do. It's amazing. Here's the usage. Here's all the different machines. Fluid sieving, conveyor belts, fluid collectors, infinity recharger. There's 19 pages of things or laser oh my gosh and that's just one mod of the 330 ish that i have installed so it's pretty amazing have a good one and enjoy oh boy more stuff to do <laughs>